everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at something a little different, and it is still a little cool. Oh, I'm lying. It's very cool. All right, now you guys know in our LEGO Tank Wars series of videos, we have looked at a lot of the Woma tanks. We looked at a, a big Woma tank, which was very similar to the Super Blocks tank. And hey, I found one of the Super Blocks tanks, and I ordered it. And I think it's now, it's not called Super Blocks, it's called Fun Blocks. There's like eight different companies all selling this big identical tank with just some slight differences. And for all I know, it's all the same company. But I digress. Anyways, it's a Woma set, but this isn't in their T-72 Balkans on Fire product line. So similar to that Woma set, which is a copy of the Fun Blocks or Super Blocks tank, this is a standalone as far as I know. This is set number J5616. There isn't any English writing at all on this box, so I can read that, and I can read Woma, and I can read uh, 241 pieces, ages 6 and up. Other than that, there is no English on this box. So this is a mammoth tank, is what they call it. At least, uh, I got no idea. So if you can read uh, what this box says, hey, please, put it in the comment section so the rest of us will learn. So when I bought this, is a Mammoth tank, and this is very similar to that Star Diamond tank we looked at. Not identical, but very similar. This is a futuristic set, futuristic tank. Now it's got some colors and some blue and some tan. The gun is brown. The gun looks amazingly futuristic. One thing I don't like about these style of minifigs, they're too cartoony, and they have that weird blue armor thing that goes on them. They look horrible. The Super Block sets have them. A lot of companies make these horrible style minifigs. So let's not even care about these minifigs, really. This is worse. You guys know I don't really care too much for my uh, non-Lego and non-Kobe and non-Call uh, of Duty minifigs or Halo minifigs. You know, it's, those are the ones I like. But it's a lot of the Chinese sets. I don't care about the minifigs. And I'll show more and more of them. But really, these minifigs are so bad that I'm not even going to show these. Yeah, I'm sorry, but these are really horrible. In fact, a lot of them I'll put in a bucket or a box, and someday I'll use them if I'm going to do a big battle scene. But these, oh, they're not even realistic. They're blue, and they're a little greenish or light blue. Just horrible. The guns are pretty standard for some of the Chinese sets, or even the Oxford sets. They're kind of copies of the Oxford weapons. But this tank is really cool. Very futuristic looking, and I don't know. I'm glad I got it, because... We can do a futuristic uh, battlefield uh, thing. And, uh, yeah, we got the Lego Tank Wars. But I'm collecting any brick tank I can find. You guys know that. Now, not those really expensive ones where somebody buys a Chinese brick set, reverse engineers it, and writes down all the parts, and makes instructions how to buy it, and then they sell it to you for, you know, $200 or $400 or $500, and they call it a custom job. Not that kind of tank. I won't buy nothing like that. But I'll buy something like this. And maybe we can reverse engineer this into a Lego tank, or we can just accept it for what it is. Pretty good quality on a scale of 1 to 10 on quality. I'd give it an 8 on fit and finish. I'd probably give it about a 7 or an 8. It's a cool little tank. I don't like the rubber treads, but hey, not all the brick tanks can have the really cool interlocking plastic Kobe treads or the interlocking plastic Lego Technic treads. Hey, that's just how it is. So if you can find this set where you live, hey, get it. Give it a try if you like the futuristic sets. Very futuristic looking, and if you don't mind these minifigs, which I do. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, on the box it says, Woma Jubli Jubilix. It's got like an elephant, if you've seen that brand. So, very cool set. Set number J5616. Two minifigs, a really cool futuristic mammoth tank. And, hey, this is a good quality set. I recommend it. But, if you can speak Chinese, you'll be able to read on the box otherwise... Hey, you really don't need to speak the language and know how to put something together. Put this brick here, put that brick there. That's great. So have you seen this set? Do you want this set? Do you have this set? Leave your comments in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.